Consider this problem. We have a block that is moving at a velocity of 8 meters per second at an angle of 15 degrees above the horizontal. At the same time, we're applying a force of 100 newtons at an angle of 20 degrees with respect to the vertical, as shown on the screen. With this information, what is the instantaneous rate at which the force is transferring energy to this block? In other words, what is the instantaneous power exerted by the force on this block at that speed? How can we calculate this problem? I mean, how can we get the answer for this problem? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. Power is equal to work divided by time. And we know that work is simply the transfer of energy. So power represents the rate at which energy is being transferred. Work is force times displacement. And we know that velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. So we can replace d over t with v. So power is force times velocity. Now, notice that we're multiplying the force vector and the velocity vector. Whenever you're multiplying two vectors, you need to know if you need to use the dot product and the cross product. Well, it turns out that the instantaneous power, which is a scalar quantity, it's equal to the dot product of the force vector and the velocity vector. Now, the dot product of two vectors is equal to the magnitude of those two vectors times the cosine, the angle between them. So this is going to be the fast way of getting the answer. We're going to do it two ways. So power is going to be f times v times cosine of the angle between them. We have the magnitudes of f and v. What we need to determine is the angle between the two vectors. So here we have the horizontal and the vertical. We know that they meet at right angles with respect to each other. Here is the force vector, and here is the velocity vector. So here we have an angle of 15, and here we have an angle of 20. We need to find the angle in between. But we know that these three angles add up to 90. So theta is going to be 90 minus 20 minus 15. 90 minus 20 is 70. 70 minus 10 is 60. 60 minus 5 is 55. So theta is 55 degrees. To calculate the instantaneous power, it's going to be 100 newtons times a velocity of 8 meters per second times cosine of 55 degrees. So the instantaneous power is 458.86 watts, and I'm going to round that to 459 watts, or joules per second. So for this situation, the force is transferring approximately 459 joules to the block every second. Now, of course, because this object is experiencing acceleration, the velocity is going to increase. And that's going to affect how much power is being transferred to this block. But this is why the answer that we have is an instantaneous answer, which means it's going to change with time. So at this instant, that's how much power is being delivered to the block by the force. But now let's get the same answer using another way. So instantaneous power is the dot product of the force and velocity vectors. Another way to calculate the dot product of two vectors is you need to multiply their x components together and multiply their y components together. 
So fx vx, that will give us instantaneous power delivered to the block in the x direction. Fy vy will give us the instantaneous power delivered to the block by the force in the y direction. And because these two are scalar, we could simply add them up to get the total power delivered to the block by the force. But first, we need to get these two vectors in component form. So let's start with the velocity vector. The magnitude of the velocity is 8, and the angle with respect to the x-axis is 15. So we have 8 cosine 15 degrees times the unit vector i plus 8 sine 15 degrees times the unit vector j. 8 cosine 15, that's 7.727. Four and eight sine fifteen. That's two point zero seven zero five five j. Now let's do the same thing with the force. Now we know this angle is fifty five. So relative to the x axis, if we add fifty five and fifteen, the force is at seventy degrees relative to the x axis. That is positive x axis going in the counterclockwise direction. So the magnitude of the force is 100, and the standard angle is 70. And so we could write it out like this. Now 100 cosine 70. That's 34.202 times i. 100 sine 70 is 93.969 j. So now, using this formula here, to get f of x vx, we're going to multiply the x components together. So 34.202i times 7.7274i. And then we'll multiply the y components together. So 93.9693j times 2.07055j. The good thing about doing it this way, even though it's longer, is you can see how much power is being delivered in the x direction and in the y direction. So in the x direction, it's 264.29 watts. By the way, the dot product of the unit vectors i is 1, and the dot product of the unit vectors j is 1 as well. Now in the y direction, it's 93.29. 9693 times 2.07055. So that's 194.57 watts. That's how much power is being delivered to the block in the y direction. So now if we add those two, we're going to get 458.86 watts. And we're going to round that to approximately 400. 59 watts. So that's how you can calculate the instantaneous power that's being delivered to an object by a force if you're given the force vector and the velocity vector. So you have two ways of calculating it. If you know the magnitude of the force and the velocity vector and the angle between them, this is going to be the fastest way to get the answer. Now, sometimes you might be given the force velocity like this in component form with the units i, j, and k in case you have a three-dimensional vector. In that case, you could just use this formula. You simply multiply the x components together and then add it to the product of the y components. But at least with that method, you can see how much power is being transferred in the x and in the y direction. 
So that's it for this video. So now you know how to use the dot product formula to calculate the instantaneous, the instantaneous power given the force and the velocity vectors.